good morning students how are you all i hope you are all fine and doing good so students today i have come up with the revision part okay and here particularly i am going to teach you english literature so here in this part in this video i am going to tell you that how i am going to set up the question paper so here first of all i would be telling you about the format of the question paper and then later on we will shift to the revision part okay so now let us see how i am going to set the question paper okay so first of all you will find fill in the blanks okay you will find fill in the blanks which will be of one marks okay there will be five or six fill in the blanks and then after that you will find write true or false or state whether the following sentences are true or false and this will also carry one marks each and then next number third is word meaning so word meaning is all going to come up from your book fine you will read all the word meanings and even word meanings will contain one marks each and then after that you will get make sentences so make sentences it won't come from your book or from your notebook it will come from the middle of the chapter okay i can give any word and you have to make sentences out of those it can be either one marks or two marks okay and then next it comes the jumble words jumble word means and scramble the words so here the words will be jumbled up that means it will be mingled all together so you have to and scramble it okay and you have to find the words which is hidden in that jumbled words it will also consist of one marks each and then next question number 6 question number 6 comes question and answers which carries one marks each that means you have to answer the questions in a sentence in one sentence fine you will be getting five questions and it will carry one marks each clear okay the next is question answers which carries two or three marks each so this question answer will be a bit lengthy it may consist of four to five lines okay and it will be of two marks or three marks each and then the next is question answer which will be detailed one that means you have to answer the questions in details fine and those detailed question answer carries four or five marks each and then after that you would be getting reference to the contact so what is reference to the contact i hope you know what it is okay let me tell you here you will be given a passage and according to passage the questions will be asked just as how we do in language written part okay in the reading sorry not written in the reading in reading section we give a passage and uh, there are some questions below the passage you have to read the passage and answer the questions right similarly reference to the context is also the same so here reference to the context uh, it will be from the chapter clear so you have to read the passage you have to read the reference to the context carefully and then you have to answer it okay and reference to the context it will carry one marks each if there are five questions it would be of five marks if there are four questions it would carry four marks okay that means one question carries one marks clear next question number 10 character sketch so i hope you all know what is character sketch here you have to write about your nature behavior of that particular character which i am going to ask you in the exam and then the next is the moral of the story or central idea of the poem okay if i ask you from prose it will be moral of the story and if i ask you anything from poem it will be the central idea clear and even this moral of the story it may contain something like uh, it may carry something like 3 to 5 marks 3 or 4 or 5 marks fine clear to everyone 
ok. So, this is the format of how the question paper is going to be set. So, now let us come to the revision part ok. So, now let us revise. Okay, so this is the revision. So here we are going to revise the literature part. So we don't think that this is the question paper. This is just the sample paper. Okay, here I am going to show you the idea that how I am going to set the question paper. Okay, so this is just an idea. So you, it's not that you will read only these questions because not only these questions are coming in your exam. Okay. It is just a sample paper. Okay, now let us see question number one. So, what is question number one? It is fill in the blanks and it carries one mark each. So, number one is Dash ran away from home. Who was the person or who was the fellow who ran away from home? It is taken from the chapter Children at Work. Number two, the poem. Geography lesson was written by you have to write the name of the poet here. Next, number three, Dash was a contractor by profession. So, here you have to write the name of the person who was a contractor by profession. Fine, okay. So, the next comes question number two true or false? Number one, the cricket was a lazy animal or creature actually it should be only creature okay the cricket was a lazy creature is it true or false the answer is true because it never think about the future it never collected grains it never stored any food and at last what happened to the cricket it died so the cricket was a lazy creature true next number two a tsunami is a huge gigantic waves which brings destruction. So, what is tsunami? Is tsunami a huge and gigantic wave which brings destruction? Destruction means tabahi. It is a tsunami that? Yes, tsunami is a huge and gigantic wave which brings destruction. Okay, so both the answers here are true. Fine. Okay, next. Yes. Now, the next comes word meaning. It will also carry one marks each into how many are here? Here are four. So, I am giving four marks. Okay. But in exam, it may be five or six. So, here you have to write the meaning of the words. And these words are all taken from your book. So, number one is trench. Number two is coat. Number three, architecture. And number four, saddle. So, what are these words? What are the meaning of these words? So, trench. What is trench? It is a long gap which is dug on the ground for the armies to hide themselves during the war. That is called trench. Fine. Next, number two. Quote. Quote means to say. It is an old fashioned English word. Now, we do not use the word quote. Now, we use the word say or said. Fine. Next, number third is architecture. So, what is architecture? Architecture is the study of architect. That means the studies of constructions that how to construct uh, a building or a hotel or a dam or anything construction. Okay, so architecture is the study of construction. Next, number four, saddle. What is saddle? Saddle is a seat, you can say a leather seat fastened on the back of the horse. Okay, so it is a leather seat which is fastened. Fastened means tied up, bandhna. Okay, which is fastened on the back of a horse. That is called saddle. Clear? 
Now, question number four. Make sentences. So, make sentences. I can give anything, but it will come from your chapters. Number one. Present. It has come from your the best Christmas present in the world. Number two. Memory. Memory. I have taken this word from your chapter. Bipin Chaudhary. Lapse of memory. Number three. Rack picker. Rack picker is a word which is taken from the chapter children at work. Okay. So, rack picker means the one who picks up dirty things from the dustbin. Okay. That is called rack picker. And number four is selfish. So, this word is taken from the chapter the selfish giant. Clear? Now, next, number five. Okay, number five is unscramble the words. Here, the words are jumbled up. Okay, it is jumbled up. So, now you have to unscramble the words and make a meaningful word. So, number one, what it is? C, L, S, H, double O. So, what it becomes? It becomes school. S, C, H, double O, L. S C H double O and then L. Okay. Next. Number two. Number two. I T double H G E. So what it becomes? It becomes height. H E I G H T. Height. So even unscramble word, it will contain one marks each. Okay, and here this make sentences, it may contain one or two marks each. Clear? Next. Okay. So now comes question answers. So here I am dividing question answers into three parts. So, first part, it contains one marks each where we have to answer the questions in one sentence. Number two, the question answer is divided. Uh, sorry, I mean to say the question here is given in the short. That means you have to answer in something like four to five lines. Okay, and it consists, it contains, it carries two to three marks each. And then the last the last one will be the answer in details. Okay, it is in the next page. Fine, and it would carry five or four mark each. So now let us see question number six. Answer the following question in one sentence. Okay. Number one. Why was the schoolboy unhappy? This question is taken from the poem the school boy so in the poem why was the school why was the school boy unhappy he was unhappy because he wanted to go and enjoy his day but he was compelled to sit in the oceans of boredom that means classroom he could not go out he could not study so this is the reason he could not go out and he could not enjoy he could not enjoy his day but he just had to sit inside the classroom and study. So here the schoolboy says that I could neither enjoy outdoors nor could I concentrate well in my studies. Why? Because I may be sitting indoors inside the classroom, but I am lost somewhere outside in the world. So this is the reason why the schoolboy was unhappy. Fine. Next. Why is Makavati called a ginger cat? So, why is Makavati called a ginger cat? Makavati is called a ginger cat because of his structure. That means he was very thin, lean. He was tall and thin. Okay. Ginger cat means it is a species of cat. Okay. So, such cats are very thin and tall. Sometimes you will find some cats who do not grow fatter, which are very thin. Usually, they, use, they are in... Uh, gray color okay gray color cats are usually thin they never grow fatter 
okay so i'm not sure if it is ginger cat but ginger cat are those cat which are thin and tall next where did value meet jaya value was the boy who ran away from home so where did he met jaya value met jaya at the tell me here yeah? it is in the chennai railway station okay chennai central station so what is chennai central station it is the railway station okay so value met jaya at chennai central station clear okay now next comes question number 7 answer these questions in short that means in four to five lines so number 1 hafiz contractor wanted to join the police force why didn't he so you have here you have to tell the answer okay that he wanted to join the police force but he couldn't join what was the reason so how will be i setting the question paper i will be giving choice among two from this two you have to choose any one that means either have his contractor wanted to join the police force why didn't he or why is the giant called selfish so out of these two you can write any one clear similarly even in question number 2 why did bipin babu hesitate to visit mr mukherji why did he finally decide to phone him either you can write this or you can write this who is an artisan why do you think the artisan suffered so you can write any one you can write either this or you can write either this fine it totally depends on your choice the marks is same it gets two or three marks each clear to all okay after that next comes answer in details okay see this is just a sample paper okay it's not that it's coming only one question or two questions Okay, there will be many questions, but this is just a sample paper, just only to let you know that how I am going to set the question paper. Clear? Okay. So here in question eight, answer the questions in detail, so it will carry four or five marks each. So here also I am going to set up similarly. I am going to give a choice for each question. Number one, mention the various ways in which. the british and the german soldiers become friends and find things in common at christmas or is value a smart boy which instances in the text show that he is or isn't so either you can write this or you can write this clear okay so here after this it comes question number 9 moral of the story or central idea of the poem Okay, and now see again. Question number eight doesn't mean that I'm going to give you only one question. I may give you four, five questions. Okay, for so this is just a sample paper, just only to let you know that how I am going to set. Okay, so here it will be question number one, this or this. In the same way, question number two also it will be this or this. Same way, question number three also it will be this or this. Clear? Okay. Now see question number nine. So question number nine is, what is the moral of the poem or central idea of the uh, what is the moral of the story? Okay, or central idea of the poem. So here I can give anything, but here just in your sample paper I have just given Macavity the mystery cat. Fine, I may give you what is the moral of the story? Bipin Chaudhary's lapse of memory, or the Sumit within, or the Russia within, or the best Christmas present in the world. Okay, or I may give you central idea of the poem, Macavity, the mystery cat, or I may give you the geography lesson, or I may give you the schoolboy. Anything I may give you. Clear? Okay. Next comes question number ten. Character sketch of Bipin Babu, or Jaya, or Ant, or Camel. Okay, here in Ant and Camel, what do you have to write? you have to write the nature and behavior of those creatures or those animals okay so camel you will not write the overall character of camel according to the chapter you must write okay you cannot write just anything so according to chapter how was camel camel was very lazy he didn't go to work although 
the other animals had started working and even though when he was being called for work he never go he only said hump he was really an ideal creature he was very lazy he was living in the middle of the howling desert he only chew sticks and thorns okay and he considered himself very handsome looking fine this was how the camel in the chapter how the camel got its hump was fine in the same way and you have to write the type how was ant in the poem the ant and the cricket the ant was very hard working it always spends its day collecting grains for the winter days okay but the ant was miser the cricket went to the ant but the ant denied helping the cricket so the ant is considered as a miser animal or a miser creature clear or i can give you a fish contractor or anything right or suppose I, if i give you tsunami so you have to write about tsunami what is tsunami tsunami is a gigantic and huge wave which brings over all destructions so uh, it it comes with a great force it destroys the houses buildings it takes away the lives of the humans as well as animals and all all the things you have to mention clear so i hope you are clear with the pattern of the question paper yes okay so all the best for your exam study well and score high marks good grades okay thank you for watching good morning students welcome back to the video lecture of english language so today students here i have come up with the language part and particularly i am going to cover up the revision part of english language so in the previous video i have already explained about the english literature that means both the revision as well as the pattern pattern of the question paper so here let us see what is the pattern of the question paper okay okay now let us see now see here first of all i am going to tell you the weightage okay that means uh, how i am going to set the question paper so first of all it is section a okay in section a you will get the reading where you will be getting unseen passage in 2 by 3 that means you will get three unseen passage two will be from your literature okay and one will be from your poetry fine okay and so the total weightage will be of 20 marks and the next comes section b in section b you will be getting writing you have to write so what is that you have to write you will write the informal letters that means non official letters here i will be giving you uh, a letter to your friends or relatives or uncle auntie or siblings or cousins anyone fine so you will be writing here informal letters where you will get only one letter which carries 10 marks and one paragraph writing okay a short paragraph writing and you will also get it only one which carries 10 marks okay so total it will become 20 marks and then in section c it will be grammar portion where the total marks of grammar will be 40 so 40 and then 20 60 and 20 it become grand total of 80 marks clear to everyone okay now let us see the revision or you can say the sample paper okay so don't think that this is the question paper this is not the question paper this is just only the sample paper so that you know how i am going to set the questions okay now see here in section a as i have already told you you will be getting three unseen passages okay now come next section b section b is writing 
and in writing i will give you example write a letter to your friend inviting him or her to your birthday party or i can give you like write a letter to your uncle asking him for a pizza party in this way i can give you anything i will not be giving you any choice there will not be any choice okay you have to write directly whatever is being asked to write okay so after that you will be getting another 10 marks of uh, what is it called paragraph writing okay so here even in this point number 1 letter writing also will be of 10 marks and short paragraph writing also will be of 10 marks so let us see what can it be it can be a short paragraph in about 180 to 100 to 200 words on like example rainy season or it can be my favorite festival or it can be my memorable day at school okay or it can be my favorite teacher or it can be um, a trip to delhi anything it can be and remember i'm not giving choice here also you will be asked the question straight away and you have to answer only that question which is being asked clear to everyone okay now let us come to grammar portion so here it is section c grammar so here this is just a sample paper and it doesn't mean that i am going to give exactly the same here i am giving you identify i may give you uh, in paper i may give you like fill in the blanks or i may give you pick out i can give anything okay it is not necessary that in sample paper if i have given you ident to identify then even in a, in your question paper you would have to identify only it is nothing compulsory like that okay like suppose here i have given fill in the blank in question paper i may give you in the form of pick out the positives fine so this is just only the sample paper that means it is just only for your rough idea okay now let's proceed question number 1 identify the demonstratives in the following sentences okay what is demonstrative demonstratives points out to an object okay that means it shows by pointing out to a subject or an object okay now number 1 those girls are my cousins so what is demonstrative here those number 2 this is my school what is demonstrative here this because this and those can be pointed out we can show indicating with the finger okay now next number 2 fill in the blanks with positives okay so what is positive positive means uh, the things which belongs to somebody that is called positive okay jiska hona जो चीज जिसका है दैट इज कॉल्ड पॉजिटिव नंबर वन द बॉय हैज लॉस्ट डैश वॉच नाउ सी हियर बॉय बॉय मीन्स मेल ओके सो वट विल बी द पॉजिटिव ऑफ बॉय इट विल बी हिस ओके द बॉय हैज लॉस्ट हिस वॉच नंबर टू I am waiting for dash birthday gift. Okay, I am waiting for whose birthday gift? According to positive, I का क्या बन जाएगा? My. Okay, I am waiting for my birthday gift. Okay, next. Next, number three. choose the correct form of verb from the brackets given below number 1 the sun dash in the east and here in the bracket it's given option rise rises and rose so what is the correct answer the sun rises in the east number 2 it dash all night will be raining had been raining have been raining so the correct answer is had been raining it had been raining all night now number 4 convert the sentences into future perfect tense 
okay so here you have to know the structure of future perfect tense so what is the structure of future perfect tense it is subject plus will will have and then plus third form of verb and then and then remaining part of the sentence that means subject and then will have and then third form of verb okay and then remaining part of the sentence so number one my cat has eaten all the biscuits so what will be the answer first you have to write subject subject is my cat okay after that you will write will have you have written here will have okay now eaten eaten is verb okay so what is the third form of verb of eaten it is eaten only that means eat ate eaten so it becomes eaten my cat will have eaten and then a remaining part of the sentence all the biscuits fine in the same way number two the teacher is scolding the boys now what is the structure of future perfect tense it is subject plus will have plus third form of verb and then remaining part of the sentence so the question is the teacher is scolding the boys so what it will become it will become subject that means the teacher is subject after that you have to use will have okay so you have written will have fine now you have to see the verb okay third form of verb now what is verb here in question number two it is cold fine so what is the third form of school it is cold scolded scolded okay and then remaining part of the sentence the voice so it becomes the teacher will have scolded the boys clear to everyone okay now next now it is question number 5 pick out conditional clauses okay here i have not given a long statement actually in question it will come pick out conditional clauses and write them separately okay or like suppose example pick out the nouns and write them separately that means you have when you pick you have to write those words separately or those sentence separately so number 1 if i were you i would not have done this so what is conditional clause here the conditional clause is if i were you okay so this thing you have to write in your answer if i were you next number 2 if we heat ice it melts what is conditional clause here the conditional clause here is if we heat ice so you have to write it separately if we heat ice clear next now fill in the blanks with correct models number 1 i dare swim when i was young that means now you are no more young now you are already grown up and you cannot swim so i dare swim when i was young that means i could l t s i could swim when i was young number 2 dash the king live long here this sentence it shows the mm, like wish okay that means we are wishing something from the god so what will be the correct answer dash the king live long the correct answer is me me the king live long fine okay next is state whether the following sentences are true or false okay number 1 the positive points out an object okay now what is positive kya positive object ke bare mein batata hai no it is wrong 
that means the statement is false because the positive shows the things which belongs to somebody okay that is positive so the positive points out to an object false next number 2 simple past tense is used to express the things happened in the past okay so if you talk about simple past tense it means it shows the thing which has happened in the past so the statement is true or false it is completely true okay so students these are the uh, pattern okay that how i am going to set up in the question paper okay but one thing i want to make you clear that it is not that i will give you everything exactly how i have given like suppose here i have given fill in the blanks okay with correct models so in exam i may give you like pick out the models from the following sentences it is not necessary that in the sample paper if i have given you fill in the blanks and in question paper also i must give you in the form of fill ups no it is not necessary i may give you in the form of uh, true and false or i may give you in the form of choose the correct answer clear to everyone okay so you just study well read everything try to learn everything and then you will find the paper very very easy if you don't study well then no matter how easy i said the question paper it would become tough for you so what you have to do all you have to do is practice and practice only because practice makes a man perfect so keep practicing and score good marks okay so thank you for watching